Now back to our 125 cc, no, 120 cc, I'm sorry. That's as big as the engine I, that I can make. Maybe you can make them bigger, but I don't think so. There's a lot of problems in making these engines. And I'm going to go over the, the way that I fixed it. There's a lot of guys out there, there's a lot of guys in the islands, the Hawaiian Islands, that uh, they know more than this old Howley is ever going to know. And a Howley is, a, or a Halo, or something like that. I've never been to the islands, but for all you Australians and people outside of the world, it means, uh, I believe it means white devil. It might even mean uh, white speed demon. Now that'd be more my thing. Anyway, uh, my greatest respect for all the Islanders and all the help they've given me over the years in, in helping me with this, this old man with this little hobby of mine. They're great people and I would love to see a Honda 50 that could outrun a 600 RR Honda. Now I'm not going to tell you who told me that or who built that kind of engine, but if I ever go to Hawaii Dave, I want to see that. I want to see that. Uh, that race. Thanks. Now, this is what I found on mine. Like all engine building, uh, what I would suggest to anyone in the world is that you don't listen to one guy. One guy doesn't know it all. Go out and learn a little bit from everybody. And if you do run across someone that knows it all, well, put your one hand on your wallet and get the hell out of the room. All right, now, this is a virgin case, which means it has not been touched. The other case, uh, front case that I showed you, this is one of my engines. This is one I got off eBay when eBay used to sell engines. I believe this part's 175 and this part's a couple hundred or more without anything on it. So you don't want to screw them up. Our main areas of concern are this mating surface that mates right here. This is how much you have to take off right here in this black line, if you, if you can see it, for a 52.5 millimeter crank, which is 52.5 millimeters that wide to fit in here. Now if you'll notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Six holes. These three are going to be totally corrupted. One, two, three. These have threads in them. They will not work. Okay, you're going to go through and you're going to end up Take it out a chunk here, here, and here. Okay, so I decided, well, what am I going to do to fix that? And this was also another problem, is that, remember I told you about case integrity. This is your case, here and here. The motor is an air pump. It moves air in through the reed valve. I can get this up. The reed valve sits right here. It moves air in through the reed valve, into the induction, and into the engine right here. There can be no air leaks here, around the cylinder base here, around the top of the cylinder, around where the oil plug or oil pump goes. But our main goal, our main concern is on the outside of this, we have a little bit of meat to work with on the, uh, the small part of the case. This is what I'm talking about, a little bit of meat to work with here and here and here. But on this side, after you cut out, you've only got, oh, two, three, maybe four millimeters of usable surface right here that cannot leak. This cannot leak. All right, so this is what I did, and I should have made pictures of it. I didn't 
because I wanted to um, keep it as a secret. It's probably no big secret. But I, I've had the engine in the bike for so many years that it doesn't matter now. What I do is this. I use three stock. Let's see what we got here. I use three stock bolts. You know, I gotta learn to use this camera better. Okay, I gotta I gotta slow down and see what I'm doing. Because I need to put the camera on the what I'm looking at. Damn it. What's wrong with me? Just a second. Need to get me some coffee. Ever check out pepper mill? Every time I go to a um, casino, I get a a, um, a couple of cups. That way, if I drink coffee in the morning, then I can remember what it was like to be there and win some money. All you foreigners that have never been to Las Vegas, if you ever get a chance, and you got a lot of money because it costs 10 bucks for a damn well drink, and you got to tip everyone in there and their cat, It's a great place to check it out. It's an adult playground, and every casino's got a roller coaster in it or something. Well, back to this. We have six bolt holes, and this one, this one, and this one will work fine. These others, if you'll notice, you'll see. See, we'll put the little bolts in there, right? And there's one that go here. But these threads right here are going to be absolutely gone off of off of this. This here, here, and here. So what I did was this. And these are not the stock bolts. They're longer. You can see they're see they're a lot they're a lot longer. Matter of fact, I should whoops. <clears throat> we'll put one right there. Now this is what I did. I took the stock 8 millimeter bolt and I got a longer one. I carefully drilled, carefully drilled through here and through here zzz, zzz, zzz. I drilled out 8 millimeter size in diameter right there on this. Now I didn't, I don't know if any of this would work actually because I, I don't have any help I don't have any buddies that I can you know like go to the islands and say hey man what do you and your friends do there just there isn't anyone like that here I just had to do it all myself so if any of you guys in the islands see what I'm doing and say god that, that stupid old Hallie don't know jack shit hey, you're probably right but I'm trying I'm having fun so what the hell anyway the holes came out right about I think one came out right here one came out over here and one came out let's see. One, two, three. you can you can see where that that bolt goes through right there one came out right up here and here and here and what I did what I did was this I did not thread these out at all. Okay, I did not thread the, the aluminum here at all. I just made a straight drill right through. Now when I took the, the three bolts and brought them through here, the first thing I did was I was going to use two, um, two nuts on it. I used one nut and, and a washer and I tightened it down really really good okay then I put a cover wash a cover bolt on that cover nut I'm sorry um, a lock nut on that after I put the lock nut on it what I did was I took JB weld which is an e epoxy and I epoxy the top of the bolts here and also I epoxied right around where the bolt came out of the motor. What this did is it um, it sealed those holes from being air leaks. Same with uh, on this side too. This tape's running low. I, I, I used a, um, an epoxy on this side 
just to so that the um, the engine would not blow vacuum out of these things. All right, I'm running out of tape. 